Let's have a look at major endocrine changes in pregnancy. We'll see the placental hormones and their role in pregnancy and also the physiological alteration of endocrine glands in pregnancy. Corpus luteum secretes progesterone and this is essential to maintain the early pregnancy. At around 6 to 8 weeks, there is a transfer of functions from corpus luteum to the placenta. This is called the luteal placental shift. Now, placenta takes over as a new endocrine gland. The major placental hormones are HCG, HPL, relaxin, pregnancy-specific beta-1 glycoprotein, early pregnancy factor, pregnancy-associated plasma protein A, estrogen and progesterone. Human chorionic gonadotropin is a glycoprotein similar to luteinizing hormone. The presence of HCG in blood and urine is helpful in the diagnosis of pregnancy. It stimulates the secretion of progesterone and relaxin from corpus luteum. It stimulates both adrenal and placental steroidogenesis. It stimulates maternal thyroid. It also stimulates the Leydig cells of the male fetus to produce testosterone. Thus, it is indirectly involved in the development of male external genitalia. The immunosuppressive activity of HCG inhibit immunorejection of the fetus. Human placental lactogen is also known as human chorionic somatomammotropin. The hormone is chemically and immunologically similar to growth hormone and prolactin. It antagonizes insulin action. It causes maternal lipolysis and promotes transfer of glucose and amino acids to the fetus. It helps to develop fetal vasculature and also promotes the growth and differentiation of breast for lactation. Relaxin is a peptide hormone structurally similar to insulin. It is produced by the corpus luteum, placenta and decidua. It relaxes the myometrium, the symphysis and sacroiliac joints during pregnancy. It also helps in cervical lightening. Immunosuppressive function of three hormones, namely pregnancy-specific beta-1 glycoprotein, early pregnancy factor, pregnancy-associated plasma protein A, prevents the rejection of fetus. Estrogen and progesterone. It is indeed difficult to single out the function of one from the other, but together they play an important role in the maintenance of pregnancy. Estrogen causes hypertrophy and hyperplasia of the uterine myometrium. Together, they stimulate the growth of the uterus and causes changes in endometrium for implantation and it inhibits myometrial contraction. They help in the development and hypertrophy of the breast during pregnancy. It helps in the adaptation of maternal organs to the increasing demands of the growing fetus. Estrogen sensitizes the myometrium to oxytocin and prostaglandins. Estrogens ripen the cervix. Progesterone inhibits T lymphocytes mediated tissue rejection and protects the conceptus. Together, they preserve the gonadal function. Let's move on to the changes in endocrine glands during pregnancy. Pituitary gland increases in weight and size during pregnancy. The, the FSH and LH levels are lowered in pregnancy. The growth hormone prolactin, ACTH, and CRH levels are elevated during pregnancy. The levels of ADH and TSH is unchanged during pregnancy. Thyroid gland. The hyperplasia of thyroid gland causes slight generalized enlargement of the gland. Thyroxin binding globulin increases during pregnancy. Though the total T4 and T3 levels increases during pregnancy, the free T4 and T3 levels are unchanged. Maternal TSH is unchanged and calcitonin levels increase by 20%. Adrenal cortex. There is slight enlargement of adrenal cortex. There is significant increase in the serum levels of hormones, the aldosterone, deoxycorticosterone, corticosteroid binding globulin, ACTH, cortisol and free cortisol. Parathyroid gland. Maternal parathyroid hyperplasia occurs during pregnancy. Yet, the concentration of parathyroid hormone is normal during pregnancy. Pancreas. We know the maternal blood glucose levels are increased during pregnancy. In response to it, there is hypertrophy and hyperplasia of the beta cells in the islets of Langerhans of pancreas. This causes hyperinsulinemia. Those are the major endocrine changes in pregnancy. Thank you.